What's going on guys, Dr. John Russin back, and I'm talking about ways to improve your dorsiflexion ankle mobility without having to foam roll and stretch consistently on a daily basis without seeing any improvements. So let's first test out dorsiflexion from the half kneeling position here. And really we're looking at keeping the heel on the ground the entire time. Hands are gonna come to the knee here, and Tyler's gonna translate his knee forward over the toes as much as he can possibly get. A good rule of reference is if you can have your fist in front of your toes and the knee goes beyond that fist, that's decent dorsiflexion range of motion that you'll be able to have a good looking squat with. But if you're not quite to that level, we're gonna be using an agonist antagonist superset to start off your lower body days. So let's come up and the two exercises that we're pairing here is gonna be the stretch out of the calf raise position and then we're gonna also be going into the band dorsiflexion. So really the key here is to get a full stretch with full knee extension for a second at the bottom, coming up and peaking the contraction for a second at the top, controlling down. We're going for about 15 to 20 reps here, really just with the goal of driving blood flow into the gastrocnemius and into the soleus muscles. After 15 to 20 reps, we're gonna come down, we're gonna have Tyler laying on his back, and we're gonna get a band around his toes to try to hit the tibialis anterior, which is the shin muscle here. So again, we want quality contractions here and really peaking for a full second of trying to flex hard at this front shin muscle. So this takes a lot of reps to get a really good pump through. So we're looking at 30 to 50 reps, maybe two to three rounds to start your lower body days in this superset. 